What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use our brand new asset-based add-on City Builder 3D. Pretty much what this add-on is, is it is an asset-based plugin that allows you to add different genres of buildings to your scene very quickly and then create kind of cityscape flyovers or set extensions or create backgrounds for your 3D art or simply make an awesome flyover or city by itself. We have three themes in our product. We have Sci-Fi Future, where we have 15 assets that you can add to your scene with the click of a button. Then we have the Metropolitan Assets, again, 15 of them there, and then our Derelict Future. And uh, of course, we also have our Cinematic Movement Rig included in this download as well for free, just so you can create those cinematic aerial sweeping flyover shots um, like you can see in the trailer here. Anyways, guys, let's get started in installing the add-on into Blender. So pretty much the installation process is similar to most add-ons out there, but I just want to do this to make sure that there's no confusion in how everything works. So once you've downloaded the add-on and asset database, go ahead and open up Blender. And the City Builder is right now designed to work with the latest version of Blender. It won't be working with any old versions of it. But anyway, go ahead and open up Blender. And what you're going to do is you're simply going to go to Edit, Preferences. Make sure that the add-ons tab here is selected and then go to the install button here. And then now we're just going to navigate to where you downloaded your file. So I put mine under downloads and then I put it under recent downloads. And now as you can see, we have the city builder 1.0 install file. So go ahead and click on that and then click on install add-on. And now give it a second. It's a pretty big file. It has a lot of detailed buildings and textures, so it might take a second for it to read on your computer. All right, so here we are, and uh, it should pop up here, and uh, to enable the add-on, you can just click the checkbox here, and it should, uh, and that should enable it. And if you can't find it, just go to the search bar here and type in City Builder, and then again, check that checkbox. And now go ahead and close the Blender Preferences and go ahead and open up your side panel here. And as you can see, right here we have our City Builder 3D add-on and we can access all of our assets right here in these three tabs. Just before I finish this video, I'm just going to show you a quick breakdown of how we can add buildings to our scene. So let's go ahead and just delete everything here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Cycles Rendering Engine because that is what these assets are optimized for. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and add a sky to our scene here. And then, and then we'll go make our film transparent so we don't see the background. And then maybe also add one sun just for some cool lighting. We'll kind of put something over there. Just kind of rotate this. Now we just have a single source lighting. Could be kind of cool. All right, so to very simply add an asset to our scene, what you want to do is you want to use your 3D cursor here and select where you want to add the asset. So we'll just choose right here. And then you want to go to the City Builder 3D tab and then select which building you want to add. So we have, of course, a variety of assets here. Maybe we'll try some of the sci-fi future assets here. Maybe we'll go ahead and choose the clean future large one here. And now as you can see, our building has been added to our scene and uh, everything has been textured and ready to go. So all you have to do is go uh, and render your asset. And it might take a while to update the shaders because it's loading a lot of highly detailed images on there. But essentially, here's your asset. It's been loaded into your scene. And uh, you can uh, essentially populate your world with a bunch of different assets. and. Uh, I think our sun is a little bit dark here, so let's go ahead and increase that for a more realistic result. Maybe we'll increase that to five. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You can start adding a bunch of assets to your scene, create cinematic flyovers. You can attach these assets to a particle system on a plane to create a whole bunch of assets spread out over a giant environment, kind of in an automated way, which actually will be our next step for City Builder 2.0 to automate that whole process into building a city essentially very quickly inside of Blender. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'll be doing more tutorials in the future on how you can create awesome flyovers and set extensions with the City Builder plugin. So I hope you enjoy this video and this product. Check it out on BlenderMarket.com. Check out our trailer, and I'll see you guys next time.